And we're back, you tuned into Sport Federation TV. I'm Lynn Yukta Chetty. It's such a privilege now for me to introduce you to Paul Bennett, the current number one ranked black ball player in the whole world, as well as Joy Willenberg, who is the number one ladies player for black ball pool on earth. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. They should say that, hey, they should say that when they give on you your, your ranking at those tournaments <laughs> on earth, you're number one, because that's what it is. Yeah, no, we can live with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll change that. We'll change that on all the, the stuff that goes out. So I'll tell my producer when he, when he screenshots <laughs> you that we'll, we'll name you on, on earth, earth number one. <laughs> so guys, I mean, such a phenomenal experience, such a phenomenal accomplishment. Uh, before we go into the nitty gritties of that World Cup, um, that World uh, Championship of Black Ball Pool, tell us about the road there. The road there is obviously, it, it comes from, it starts at your league level. You play, um, play league and then obviously you qualify and you go play in a provincial trials. Um, and you, play there and you get into a team in the first team, second team. Um, <coughs> this year I was in the in the second team. Um, and then we played at the Nationals Carnival City earlier this year. And I ended in the top five. So I qualified for the pro tier side. And now last month going to the Worlds. It, w it wasn't an easy road because um, obviously you have to play, you have to practice, you have to be committed. Um, but it went well. It, it, it was exciting. <laughs> yeah. And Paul, you pretty much had to go through the same process as yes. well. They qualify <coughs> in your province, then at the nationals, and then of course the it's the preparation. And then at the nationals, yes, and then um, and then yeah. But uh, it's, it's a tough road. Um, as like she said, um, we have we have a lot of talent uh, in the various categories that we play in and uh, you said in the beginning that uh, number one player actually number one senior player we have to get that <laughs> category right <laughs> yes seniors because um, yeah because we have many categories we have under 23 category we have the ladies category we have the men's category the, and uh, the then you have the senior and you have the masters category which yes is so it's, it's very vast uh, and and um, but um, the competition is tough and uh, everybody's playing for those positions trying to win trying to get a trip overseas to play against the world's best uh, players and uh, th that is that is the ultimate goal for us all. And Joy, I, I happened to catch a radio interview of you over during the yes. last week <laughs> uh, and uh, you you mentioned that you just went to go play socially with your brother and then yeah. the bug caught you. Yes, um, he, he took me to a competition in town um, at Castro's and there we met a few few players and they said but you good do you play for province and then I said um, no what's what's province like I didn't know you could take it any further than just playing socially um, and they then gave us some more info on um, <coughs> how to actually go about entering a league and things and then I played at um, at Reds Cafe in Autry um, we we had a team of five and we started there and I played my first um, league uh, was that was in 2007 and then qualified for the my first provincial team and ever since then I've been playing. You were, you were part of a, of a huge squad, uh, like you said, the <laughs> under 23 seniors, masters, men's division, ladies as well. Um, how big was the squad? I think it was about 50 people, yeah. including including managers and, um, and supporting staff. And about you all traveled together and, yes. and lived together and, and supported each other during the yeah. tournament. Definitely. Uh, well, you've brought some photos of some of your yes. teammates. Yes. Let's yeah. take a look at that. Yeah, no, the, uh, you can see Dino standing in the middle there. That is the, the, the reserve. And the one on the far right, uh, that is Daya. Daya, he's the, he was our manager. And uh, as that whole team, as you see them standing there, they are all from Cape Town except Dino and I, the manager, the two of them. But the players, the main players that represented uh, the, the country were all from Cape Town. Okay, and, and that's me with the under 23 team, um, Aiden and, and Keenan. So Aiden's on the second from the left, and then Keenan at the back, they actually won um, the bronze in the, in the doubles, under 23 doubles. Wow. And then the team actually won silver. So they also ran us up. That was a pick um, with the France team. What we did was we, um, after every match, we took a pick with the, the different countries. So you'll see there all the happy yeah, this, faces. This was a, this was a special <laughs> one, yeah. Yeah. 
and that's us on the stage when we got our medals. So your team won silver at yes. the so the ladies won silver and the men's and seniors teams how did they do? Uh, the men's we 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 finished fourth. That's in the senior excellent. in the senior team and um, we uh, also me and O'Connor Bailey one of my my, my teammates we played one. the doubles. We walked away with gold in the doubles uh, event, which is uh, also another huge accolade. Really performs quite well at always. the at the Black Ball Internationals. Always, hey. always. We one of the one of the powerhouses at the at the at the World Championships, and yeah. uh, that's what I've noticed this, especially this year. Every time that I went, the four times, uh, the first time was obviously an inaugural one. So so everybody was on a level playing field, and everybody's looking at England. And you're looking at your Scotland's. Yes. All the, the, those are the powerhouses. But now we are slowly closing that gap. And by this last World Championship, what I saw now is that we are practically, I won't say we level, there. but mm. we are up there with them that uh, we can be rated as one of the powerhouses of, of, of the world. And mm. uh, that's... That's something. That's a lot of hard work that has come to bear now. So, so also considering a lot of those players on that uh, at that international tournament are playing full time. Hey. Yes, a lot of them. We play with a couple of professionals. Uh, I can mm. mention a couple of names as well. If, like Craig Marsh and Clint I. Anson, uh, your Gareth Potts. Okay, he wasn't playing. He was there. Uh, Chris Melling was. Mick, kind of Mick Hill, Mick Hill was sure. there, but he <coughs> didn't play. But uh, they're definitely looking at playing. I'm sure. Mm. But there were some a lot of strong players there that that, that played in the in the in the singles events and um, uh, yeah it was a surprise to see you won at the end of the day it came down to one thing consistency always wins and uh, that that was a strong statement in the in the men's event when Scott Gillespie won mm. he beat um, a fellow player from England uh, called Dean something but anyhow it, it, he was a very consistent player over the year and eventually consistency came through. Okay, and I'm sure for the, the cues that are watching and the cues that have been following your development for as long as you guys have been a part of the pool community, yeah. uh, the <coughs> everyone is probably thinking, you know, what does it take? Because what does it take to be number one? What am I not doing right? So my final question for the two of you is, what are you doing right? Now that you're the number one in the division on the planet. <laughs> um, well, I think it's just you, like Black Pool also said, the consistency part. Like you, ha you have to play, you have to practice, you have to stay at that level where you're competing against the best. Um, because that also helps. We had a discussion earlier where I said to him, you know what, um, when I started, I played in competitions against Paul and all the even um, Faisal, Lynx, Bala, they played. And I was like, oh, they're from Western Province, like not even a Proteo SA player. But I mean, that for me was where I got to, um, so like your nerves, like you play against them often enough and you you start to build sort of your, your confidence in your the game. Your match temperament. Your match temperament, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so you need to, the hard work, the practice, the discipline and stay committed and just believe in yourself as well and being a, being a woman uh, well a seasoned seasoned female player in in what is historically a male dominated sport has that come with challenges for you definitely there's, there's always that challenge and I mean the guys always well, it's now gotten to a stage where they actually don't care like they <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like we played against them in the league um, Monday night and I sort of broke and they just finished so it's you you sort of I think we like I earned a lot of their respect in that they won't just play around and just think, okay, I'll I'll, I'll miss so that you can have a, sh a chance. I'm sure Paul. No, she's actually being very modest. She's <laughs> a lot stronger than she's actually saying. Mm. <laughs> she she can finish a game, and uh, it's like you said, that is a male dominant sport. Yeah, I think most sports actually, and um, I don't I don't see anybody getting around. <laughs> that. It is what it is, but. Yeah. But uh, at, at the end of the day, it comes down to you, uh, how you expose yourself to, to the competition and how, how you prepare yourself, how you deal with pressure and, and, and things like that. So, so if you can deal with those things, uh, then anybody can do well at the sport. I mean, the, the male brain and the female brain mm. is the same thing. If you can deal with the pressures the same way the male can do it, then by all means, you can do the same, you can have the same results. So, mm. so in theory, I mean, I'm, I'm saying this in theory, but uh, and I'm sure it makes perfect sense, but but it comes down to the amount of time you put in and what you expose yourself to consistently all the time uh, that, that will eventually reap the, the results. 
Well, now that you're both the number one on the planet in your divisions, <laughs> in Black Ball Pool, what is the next title that you would love to have? Well, the last men's title slipped me. Uh, this is a <laughs> bit of a consolation that I won gold now for the doubles and I got the number one seed uh, in my division. Uh, um, I would love to win that men's title. I, I came so close the last time and that is the cover to title. Then mm. that's what you must do. Hey, I, I have to do that. Yeah. Uh, I'll definitely try and qualify next. I think we'll the both, we both have the same goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same goal, yeah. yeah. 2020. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Australia. And I hear there's a, there's a rumor of um, Q Sports ending up in the Olympic Games uh, in the near future. That's in the horizon, yeah. Yes, so that must be something all Exciting. this was... Uh, uh, crossing fingers for hey, yes, definitely. definitely. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, Paul Bennett, enjoy Willenberg. You guys are inspirational. We're very proud of you, you. from the Western Cape. I'm sure your Thank pool you. community is also equally proud of you, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. In everything else that Thank you, you do. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> and Merry Christmas. Yes, and, the same and Happy New Year. New Year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, and that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you once again for tuning in to Sports Federation TV. Remember, you can catch the show every Friday night at 9 p.m. on Channel 263, repeated Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. on the very same channel. Remember to tune in next week where you can catch more of all your favorite sports right here on Sport Federation TV. Whatever sport you're playing this weekend, like a spiel. And if you haven't found a sport that you love just yet, we hope you find a sport that's just perfect for you.